asking if the amount of air in a ball affects how far it rolls. Um, our dependent variable was um, the distance that the ball travels with different amounts of PSI. Our independent variable was um, the PSI. We will change the PSI. The constant was the soccer ball. And our hypothesis was that um, the soccer ball will go further with less air in, in the ball because it does not weigh as much. Our purpose was this experiment shows that heavier objects are not always as fast as the lighter objects. Um, we will, how we did this was we got the ball, we rolled the, we, we will roll a ball down a ramp and measure how far it goes. Then we will deflate the ball to a different amount of air. Again, we will do, well, again, we will slide, we will roll the ball down a ramp and measure how far it will go. And then we will do that with one more different amount of air in it. Um, our data was the, the first amount of PSI was 1.2 PSI and our first trial was 378 inches, our second was 435 inches, and our third was 572 inches, and then our fourth was 644 inches, 644.5 inches. The second amount of error was 0 0.9 PSI, and the first trial was 343 inches, the second trial was 433 inches, the third trial was 561 inches, and the fourth trial was 623 inches. The third amount of PSI was 0.5, and the first trial was 445 inches, the second trial was 470 inches, the third trial was 505 inches, and the fourth trial was 698 inches. Our averages were the first one was 507 point. 375 inches. The second one was 400, 409 inches, and the third one was 529.5 inches. Our hypothesis was right that the that the lowest amount of air did go the farthest.